When was the last time you picked up a good book? Do you find the sea of choice at a bookstore intimidating? If you need some guidance, we know someone who can help. Zhao Jiayi found that the best part of owning a bookshop so was chatting to the customers. He always wanted to know what books they were enjoying. After devouring tens of thousands of books, he's a walking encyclopedia of the written word and puts it into good use choosing books for other people. A smartly dressed fellow in a fedora wanders down the aisle, picking up a pile of books and flicking through them. This is Taiwan's first ever book selector, Zhao Jiayi, aka Silverquick. I think the most human and friendly way to do this is you have to have a sense of the whole bookstore at least and know what the books are and how they're categorized and what is worth reading in the different titles. Zhao <laughs> chats about the little things with the customers he meets. His boy next door persona puts people at ease and allows them to be vulnerable about what's most important to them. In just half an hour, he can get a sense of what the reader might want and compile a reading list just for them. There was a middle school kid. He wanted to learn how to spend the final moments with a relative who was about to pass away. So I would look for books to do with end-of-life care or that discuss what life and death are, perhaps picture books or perhaps novels. Over the last eight years, Zhao's lent a listening ear and hand-chosen books for hundreds of customers. He's also helped pick out book displays at all the major libraries and bookshops across Taiwan. But it's not been a simple road to get here. Zhao has read more than 50,000 books of all genres. He can't afford to be picky. The Japanese studies graduate has translated more than 30 books and published six volumes of his own poetry and essays. He previously ran a second-hand bookstore and publisher. And through all of that experimentation, he finally landed on his perfect job, selecting books for other people. I'm right about 70 to 80 percent of the time. The reason I can do this is because I've chatted to so many customers who have read. Those chats gave me a lot of inspiration and support. Choosing books or reading will not disappear because of changes in the media or the whole world going more and more toward digital communication. There will always be people who feel lost in a vast sea of information. I think a book selector should provide a guide. Three years ago, Zhao even published a board game about his work for anyone curious about the art of book selection. If you're wondering how to pick the right book, it might be a good place to start. <laughs>